In this video, we're going to take another quick look at icons. We talked about this in the introduction, uh, but that was more of a uh, where things are kind of a element. Uh, so if I go here to my class that I'm creating, my course I've, um, I'm working on creating, I have my three units here, um, and I still have more topic bars here. If I turn it on, that'll bring my icons up, and now I can begin to edit and add things just as we've talked about. Once again, this crosshair icon allows you to click and drag any item that you've added to Moodle to any other topic bar. I'm going to actually put this one back up here. You can also do this with units. So if I decide that I want to delete a unit or let's say I want Europe in front of exploration for whatever reason, I'm going to click here, drag this up, and leave it there. All right. If I want to indent, and this will make more sense as we go forward, um, I can click this black arrow and continue to do that. Now some of you, before we go any further, might not have this, um, depending on the uh, version of Moodle. I believe everybody has this crosshairs, but if you happen to have an icon with a kind of arrow up and down right next to each other, all you need to do to move that item up and down is to click on it uh, and it will let you basically put it where you want it to go. Uh, the only problem is you can only move it one spot at a time, so it's a little time consuming. The uh, blue page of the pencil is edit, as always. Red X uh, will delete the item. The I will close um, and therefore not allow your students to view the material that you put in there. You might want to do this with quizzes, so on and so forth. The little icon that looks like a person is groups. And again, as I said, we've had these icons here. Uh, I can highlight or non-highlight um, a unit. I can open and close the eyes to let my students view. Um, one real quick navigation trick here. If you see these white boxes, blue and white boxes, if I click on that, it'll collapse it down to whatever unit box that I've clicked. And when I do that, I'm just going to view this unit. It's a real handy thing to do when you start building courses and, and for your students to quickly reference units. Now, let's say I want to go to unit three. Right below here is a, it says jump to. And if I click on that, it's going to show all the topics. I've only named three of them, and I'm on topic one, so it's only displaying unit two and unit three. Let's say I want to go to Europe. Click on that. It takes me to my Europe unit. Nice navigation tool. If for whatever reason I don't want this to be collapsed like this, I simply click on the white boxes again. And I can see all my units. Uh, one other thing real quick, where it says switch role to, if as you are working on Moodle, um, you want to see what your students might see, if you click that, you can change your role to a teacher or a student, and I believe a non editing teacher. If you change it to student, you'll be able to, to see what your students will see when they begin to hand things in, so on and so forth. This has been the video on icons.